are being dominated by constant references to Led Zeppelin. Are they trying to rip them off or aren't they? The similarities are impossible not to make and I had the chance to speak with vocalist Lenny Wolf and James Kotak in Los Angeles recently and asked them about the accusations that they're just quick buck merchants. We are pure businessmen and uh, I mean, we don't have any heart whatsoever. We We're in it for the money. We were That's it. For the money. We only want your money, all right? <laughs> okay. Because a lot of your critics suggest that that you did do exactly that, you kind of learnt the past. I know, there's there are a, lot of, a lot of jealous people out there, and some of them call themselves criti uh, uh, critics, who I think shouldn't be paid. I mean, critics shouldn't, shouldn't forget that. Without the kids, they wouldn't make a living in general. Without the bands, there were, there were nothing else to talk about. My, my motto is it's very simple. If you don't like something, don't buy it. Or if you think you can do something better, and please impress me, but uh, stop talking about it. It's like people like we're, we're, we're trying to figure out this master plan behind Kingdom Come. There was never a plan. It's five guys who love this, uh, <coughs> this, this, this bluesy 70s rock and roll, and we like to, we, we wanted to put it in an 88, 89 package, sound-wise. I grew up with Zeppelin, I love the band, no doubt about it. I love ACDC, Leslie West, Def Leppard, it's easy to name them all, you know what I mean? I like that stuff. Beatles especially, believe it or not. If you listen to the outro to what love can be, I mean, you can hear the harmonies I've been working with uh, didn't come just from nowhere. Every band is influenced by somebody. You, you can't deny it. That's just the way it is. You grow. And you put your influences together with your own style, and you create something new. So there you go. This is their brand new video, Do You Like It or Do You Not? Kingdom Come.